Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Oh, we had a great little feature for you today. If I roll down this page, we've got a little button here. When I click on it, it's going to pop out a section. And you can fill in the form and read the text and what have you and close it out when you're ready. Now this is really easy to do. We do need to do a bit of coding for this today, but it's just a matter of copying and pasting some code. But that's a great little feature to add this pop-up with no plugin to your site. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. While I'm doing that, if I go over to the Elegance theme page here and I'll put this link below the video, this is where I got this code from today. And you can open any Divi modules in a lightbox if you want to. So I'll put this link here and this is where the code is. You can read through it or you can just zoom down to the code which is about halfway down the page and I'll take you through what you've got to do with it. Okay, once my Divi build is loaded, I'm going to go down and delete the section and the button that I've got here is my pop-up section. I'm going to delete that one. And there's a little button I created for it too. I'm going to delete that one. Okay, well, I'm going to add a new section, and this is going to be the section that we want to pop up from the button. So let's add a new section, a little blue button here. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm just going to put a couple of columns in there. You can go to town. You can make this like a mega menu. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Let's put a little blurb module in the left. We'll find us a little picture here. use that same one as I used before and on the right let's pop another blurb module in a contact form or something like that a little blurb let's just say reach out or whatever it is you want to say obviously you'll put more thought into what content you want to pop up than I will here okay I'm going to leave that just like it is I'm going to use an icon for this one perhaps a mail icon use icon there's a little switch right there a lot of icons to choose from I'm going to do a search. There we go. That'll work fine for me. And I'm going to leave that just like that. And let's pop a little contact form underneath. There's a little contact form. I'm not going to configure it or anything like that. I've got plenty of videos if you don't know how to configure a contact form. Okay, well, let's call that done. I'm going to make this section have a dark background. That way when it pops up, it'll sort of be over the top of everything else so let's save this and we'll come back and change our text to light in color in a moment because we won't be able to see it very well on the dark background so I'm going into the section I'm going to go to background I'm going to give mine a simple black obviously you can go to town on yours but I'm going to pull the opacity down just a little bit so it's maybe 80 percent 75 something like that that way when it pops up you'll still see a hint of what's behind it and let's just make the text here light in color. So I'm going to go into the blurb, design, text, and we'll make this light in color. And we'll do the same for this one. And we're done with our section. Design, text, light. Great. Now we built our little section here. We've actually got to give it a class. If we go back to the elegant theme page here, it tells us assign this CSS class name to the section right there, ETLB content one. So I'm going to copy that, control C, we go back to my site, into the section again, over to advanced, CSS IDs and classes. It's a class, so we need to put it in the class field there. There it is. And let's save that now. That's our first bit done. Now we've got to create the button that we want to pop this up with. And I've got a spare row up here. You want to make sure you put your button not in the same section that you want to pop up because this is going to disappear on the front end. So you won't be able to see the button if you put it in the same section. So make sure you're not in the same section. Doesn't matter where on the page you put it. But I'm in a different section here with a row with three columns. Let's just pop a little button in here. And let's perhaps say learn more or whatever it is you want to say, obviously. Pop a little N on there. 
Okay, let's just pop that in the middle. I'm not going to style it. Obviously, it's a button, so if you go down a button under the design tab, you can custom style it however you wish. I'm going to leave mine just like that. But what is important, we need to go back to our content, and in the link, we need to just put a little hashtag where it says button link URL. So let's put a hashtag in there. Great. Well, that's pretty much our button done now, but we've got to give it a CSS class too. So if we go over to advanced again, down to CSS IDs and classes, we've got a class here. We'll go back to the elegant themes page. If we roll down a little bit, here's the class name we've got to give the button, ETLB button one. So control C to copy once more, control V to paste it in there, and we're good to go. Okay, well now we need to make the magic happen. We need to add the actual scripts and codes that we need here. So again, about halfway down the page, first bit, this is CSS. We've got to add this. They've kind of made it a little confusing there. It is WordPress, but basically it's dashboard, Divi, options and general settings. So select all of this, copy it, control C to copy. Then we need to go to our dashboard, go down to Divi, let's open the dashboard. Now I'm not going to paste this in because I've already got it on my site. Once you're at the dashboard, go down to Divi, theme options. Under the general tab here, remember this is the CSS code we're copying here. You need to go all the way down to the bottom. And here it is, just paste your code in right here. Not a bad idea to give it a title. I've already got it in there, so I don't need to paste it. So let's say, call this pop-up section. And for a title, it's forward slash, star star forward slash. Anything that you write in between the two stars there will not be read as code. So you can use it for notes or titles. So we we'll say pop-up section. That way, if you write a lot of CSS code, it makes things so much easier to find. Also, it's a courtesy if anybody else edits that site after you. Okay, once you put your, your title in there, just paste Control V, paste that code we just copied in there, and there it is right there. Once you've done that, make sure you hit your save changes. Okay, we now need to go back to our page, and there's a bit of script here. If we roll down a little bit more, Here's a bit of script. So again, we need to copy this script. Just select it there. Right click and copy or control C. And we need to put this in the themes options, general settings, which is true. It's the Divi theme, general settings, integration tab, head section. And I'll take you right there. So we've copied this, there it is. We roll up to the top of this page we were on just there, which is the Divi general. If we look over here, we've got an integration tab. Add the code to the head of your blog. This is where you need to paste it. And I've already got mine in there, as you can see, so I've no need to paste it again in there. But that's all you do. Just paste it in there where it says head of your blog. And again, make sure you save your changes. Great. Well, we should be good to go there. We've got all the code we need. We save the changes. Let's go back to the page and we'll save the changes here. And there's our little section that's going to pop up. Once I save the changes and we go to the front end, this section is going to disappear. We'll be left with that button up there, though. So let's save our changes, little purple button. And let's exit the Visual Builder. We're going to roll on there. And as you can see, or as you can't see because it's not there, our little section is nowhere to be seen, but we've got our little button right here. Once I click on that button, and there it is, it's popped out into our little light box there. We've got a close icon up here to close it down. And there's a sort of semi-transparent black background I put on there. Obviously put in there whatever it is you want to put in there. Might want to darken it down slightly so you don't see quite as much background bleeding through there. But that's entirely up to you. And of course they can fill out the form, send it off, read everything that's going on there. And that's a fantastic little feature. And of course, if you want to add more than one button or more than one pop-up, if you look at the bottom of this article here, all you have to do is to make more lightbox sections on the page. You can simply assign a number to the appropriate CSS classes, ETLB button two, 
BTLB content to. And the content to is obviously going to go in the section and the BTN to is obviously going to go in the button. And you can create more sections that way. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a little pop up with no plugin. That's a great little feature. Really easy to do. Like I say, I know there's a bit of coding in there, but it's just copy and paste. So it's really easy. And that saves you adding a new little plugin to your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, I'll put the link to this page down below, the Elegant Themes page that I got this code from. If you have any questions, please put them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a little demo video if I can for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey.